how to put your wholesaling business on autopilot so you can sit in a chair and go in front of the beach and literally do nothing all day while you have team members pulling your marketing lists, going out there and locking up deals for you. You can literally have people dispositioning your deals, someone signing for your deals, someone doing the checks for your deals. And you could literally sit back all day and maybe get behind a camera and teach people how to do the same thing, kind of like me. So I've almost fully automated my real estate wholesaling business. And obviously I'm not here to brag or tell about my real estate wholesaling business, but I want to share with you how I did it for me and how you can do the same exact system where basically you're on autopilot and you can scale up as much as you want and you can basically do whatever you want all day. Uh, so in this video, we're going to show you how to automate your real estate wholesaling business. <laughs> what those guys are doing, what you'll get in a $7,000 course. I'll give you even more value in this video today, uh, probably more condensed and a lot more jam packed of value. So don't buy those $10,000 courses. Just listen to this video. Uh, the only thing I ask for your turn again is if you smash that like button and subscribe so we can put these gurus out of business and we can help this YouTube algorithm. So more people can see this so I can in return help more people. So without further ado, automating your real estate wholesaling business. So how did I do it? So Real estate wholesaling is as pretty much simple or complicated as you want to make it. So real estate wholesaling can be simply just the art of getting a property under contract, selling it to a cash buyer, bring it to a title company, getting your check and repeating the process. But a lot people like to make things a lot more complicated than it has to be. And it seems overwhelming and daunting this wholesaling journey and really automating it seems even more stressful. And obviously if you really want to automate your real estate wholesaling business, you're gonna to have to get very good at a couple of things. You're gonna to have to get very good at hiring people, which in itself is one of the hardest things to do in any business out there. But really, besides hiring, is understanding how to actually manage these people. So hiring and managing, especially when it comes to automating your real estate wholesaling business, is probably one of the most important things you gotta understand. So automating your real estate wholesaling business really comes down to those two things. So those are the ones I really wanna focus on. But overall, in my system, we have people pulling lists for us, ordering our marketing, actually doing the marketing for us. I have acquisitions managers out there answering those phone calls, actually doing all that. We have dispositions people that will sell our deals. And then we got people picking up the checks for us and getting it wired to us. So really I could sit all, I could sit around all day and do basically nothing. I mean, I don't even know what Rick's doing right now. He's probably fishing or something, but I mean, he's not out there going to appointments. He's basically all automated and we're all automated in our business and we can basically do whatever I want. So. I could sit down and play Call of Duty right now, or I could probably sit down here and shoot a video. But uh, I mean, I don't have to go out there, run out for appointments all day. I mean, that's literally the time freedom you want, right? I mean, me as 21 years old, I am able to do this. Think about what you can do in your business too. So overall, that's how we have our automations going, but really the ultimate system for you. So when it comes to automating your real estate wholesaling business, I like to think of wholesaling as not a conveyor belt, but really as just kind of a left to right system, because I'm a very visual person. So from left to right, you should have people doing the marketing for you, really doing a lot of the administrative tasks, do the acquisitions, the dispositions, and basically someone overall managing that. So a really good book that really helped me out in this business, it's like what, 15, 20 bucks, is the book Traction from Gino Wickham and the EOS system. It's Those are really good books to do, and it'll actually help you really It'll really help you get a good traction on your business and really get it automated. They do the daily huddles, they do quarterly rocks, they do they do the business meetings every day. And honestly, it's a really, really good way to actually automate your business. So overall, to automate your real estate wholesaling business, you wanna have them in those categories, but really traction's a really good book to really get everything going in your wholesaling operation. So what I do recommend, so the perfect system for your real estate wholesaling, it depends if you're doing virtual stuff, physical stuff. For me, it's kind of a hybrid. I do five virtual wholesaling markets and then my physical wholesaling market here in South Florida, here on the Treasure Coast here in Florida. So really the way you can automate your system is sort of do what I do, but make it a little more, really customize it more, more for your taste and your style for it. So I like to have my hand a little bit into wholesaling real estate, kind of seeing the deals that are going through. I can check every day what we have in our contract, what properties we currently own and what we're sort of doing with it. it. Really helps me kind of put a little bit of the hand. Again, I don't want to be a control freak in the business, but I really want to know if we're out here buying this property, buying that property and 
I'm not underwriting the deals, but I'm going over them and just making sure everything's going smooth in the operation. So overall, if you want to automate your business, I do recommend you get a VA first. So the VA should be the first hire for the automation of the business and the VA should be scraping leads for you. Obviously stuff that you know how to do, it just helps you buy extra time. So what you want to do is teach them how to pull code violations, pull probates, water shutoffs, eviction lists, and, and other, the other lists you can do on like listrei.com. Then your next one should basically be a marketing manager. This, this could be a VA also, which is basically a virtual assistant. And in this video above me, I actually teach you how to hire a VA for your real estate wholesaling. And then that marketing manager will help send out all the mail. So maybe they do the probate mail, the, the ROS mailers that we do, help us text out at smszack.com and really help us do all of our outbound and inbound marketing for our business. So I don't have to deal with the next here, which is arguably the most important hire for your real estate wholesaling business is learning how to hire and get an acquisitions manager. The acquisitions, the acquisitions manager is one of the lifelines of your business and not having the right one in there can completely destroy it. So having the right one in your business is absolutely so crucial for your, for your success in real estate wholesaling. So knowing the right one to hire, knowing when, when the perfect one to do it, but finding an acquisitions manager that can help you get the deals, lock up deals really well, and really can build good rapport with your sellers is absolutely so crucial and critical. So Getting the acquisitions manager is probably one of the best ones you can absolutely do there. Make sure they, they can answer the phones. That's basically what they do for me. They can set the appointments up for the actually dealing with the sellers from the phone calls. Usually I do it for my direct mail. Teach you actually how to lock up deals. And lastly, actually how to qualify deals. So finding the right acquisitions manager, I mean, you can go on Indeed, Indeed or any other job hiring platform out there. That's probably where I'll find my my best acquisitions managers. And then lastly, you want to get someone who's really good at disposition. So dispositions is dispositions is probably one of the best ones for you to get. That person should be in house, just like the acquisitions person should be physically in person or American doesn't, doesn't have an accent the, all their job should be is just selling that deal is just selling, selling, selling your deals to cash buyers. They should also be building cash buyers list for you, probably scraping Facebook list, pulling all the cash sales in the area, and then basically blasting out smsac.com, all the cash buyers, seeing if they're interested in selling their deeply discounted properties. But that's what I would be doing. Now, lastly, you can have that automated and then you could be the COO, which is basically the chief operations officer. And that person can be managing the whole system, make sure everything's going good all day, or you can actually hire one, which obviously is more expensive, uh, but then that, that can completely take you out of the real estate wholesaling business. And you can basically do whatever you want and the things basically really automated and really good to go. So that's really the whole wholesaling automated process. It's not that complicated. And Honestly, if someone tells you it's that complicated, they're not telling you the truth. So here's some of the myths though with automating a real estate wholesaling business. Now, it is not as easy as everyone thinks. You not at the beach every day and there's probably some days you got to focus really hard on the wholesaling operation. And sometimes an acquisitions person might get sick, a dispositions person might be sick or your marketing manager or your VA quits or they have a kid and maternity leave and what are you going to do? You really got to understand and have a plan on what to do if that unfortunately will happen for you. So really making a plan and obviously you don't want there to be holes in your business. So maybe having a backup plan might be good. So what would happen if your acquisitions manager just becomes fired one day? What would you do? You'd probably have to go in that business and plug and play to keep the doors open and keep the lights up on the operation. So that's what I'd probably do. Just make sure you have a backup plan. Not a lot of people who talk how sexy it is to automate your business. They don't really talk about some of the pitfalls like that. And honestly, it can get really bad if you're not doing it. So what I recommend again with your automation of your business is have a backup plan if something bad happens. So really, if you do that, you should be good. Read the book Traction. And obviously there's so much more nuances to actually automating and really fully automating a real estate wholesaling business. So I truly appreciate you guys watching this, this video. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of a taste of automating your real estate wholesaling business. And if you automate it, you can easily scale it up more, more and more, and you could easily make seven figures, even eight figures in your real estate wholesaling operation, truly automating it. So you could spend time with a really important tasks, which is like growing the operation, getting bigger and bigger profits and more and more markets out there for your virtual wholesaling or physical wholesaling operation. So you can overall make more money in real estate wholesaling. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you got any value, again, please smash that like button and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Have a blessed day.